Hey friends of Keyclock, nice to see you again. I'm Nico and I'm talking about Keyclock and stuff. Today I want to discuss some controversial topic, namely two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication through email or SMS text messages. So why 2FA or multi-factor authentication through email and uh, SMS is not very secure and you really shouldn't do it. Let's start talking about multi-factor. What is multi-factor authentication? For multi-factor authentication, you need at least to have fulfilled two of three factors. So the three factors are, the first one is knowledge. So the password is something you know, for example. The second factor is um, possession. You have to own something. You have to have physical access to something. This can be um, your phone where an, an OTP or an authenticator application is uh, installed and you have access to this phone because it's your phone. You own this phone. Or this can also be a file where some secret is stored. You have access to this file. You own this file. The third factor is inherence, so something you are, like your face scan for face ID or your fingerprint for uh, touch ID, something like that. So these three factors, knowledge, possession and inherence, um, you need to fulfill at least two things, uh, two factors of them to have a real multi-factor authentication. Think about email. When you send some code, some secret, whatever, through email to the user. Is this a real multi-factor, a real additional factor to the usually uh, used password? So password is knowledge. And then you send another code to the user through email. How do you know how the user is accessing his emails? If the user is accessing his, his emails only by using a password, in worst case, the same password as he enters in Keycloak. Um, this is just two different secrets, but from the same factor, the knowledge factor. So this is not multi-factor, this is single factor. Two times knowledge factor, this is not multi-factor. So if you can't prove that the user is accessing the emails through a second factor, a real second factor at least, then sending an OTP through um, email is not a real multi-factor authentication. It's just another way of transmitting some kind of secret, some code or whatever. If the user is accessing it with, with a password and enters a password to the Keycloak server, um, you have two times the knowledge factor. Talking about SMS text messages. Well, Text messages um, are being received by your phone or by the, the SIM card in your phone or the eSIM. So you have to own the phone, the SIM card, the, the eSIM. That's a real second factor. You have to uh, own this, this um, yeah, phone or SIM card. But the SMS text message protocol, sending and receiving SMS, was never meant to um, send secret data. This was never designed uh, to be secure enough to send some uh, secret data. The SMS protocol is really interceptable. Someone can, can listen to uh, send SMS, someone can fake SMS, and um, thus you really, really, really must not, should not, must not use SMS for transmitting secure data. So text messages are not a good way of transmitting secure data for authentication. While SMS sending or receiving SMS, transmitting an OTP through SMS itself is a second factor because you have to own the phone or the SIM card. The protocol itself is highly insecure and you really, really, really must not use SMS text messages for sending secure information. So from this perspective, in my opinion, also SMS text messages are not a good way for sending uh, OTP or being used for OTP um, or multi-factor authentication. Thanks for watching and give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of my other videos and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.